I swear to the good lord, lard, I swear to the good lord, <laughs> the good lardy McLarder son. <laughs> lard, I swear to the good god of Crisco. Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome to Honest Beauty. I laugh because I've done this intro at least 25 times by now, and every single time I either say something wrong or I get distracted or my phone goes off, and it's honestly starting to melt away my patience, like one drip at a time. So let's just go ahead and actually get going into what I have to talk about. So as you saw in the title and the thumbnail, <laughs> guys, I have been dying to try Honest Beauty, and so I went on their website and I was just like, you know what? If we're gonna try Honest Beauty, honey, we are gonna try Honest beauty and I picked up everything <laughs> like I mean I started at primer and just went all the way through so we have their magic balm we have their glowy primer we have their cream blushes regular blushes a spray we have two different types of foundation their everything cream and their CC cream their invisible powder their luminizing finish powder we have multiple types of lips like I don't even I don't even know what half of these are, but I got one in every finish, and their eyeshadow palette, and their little cat eye kit duo, which comes with a liner and a mascara, and we even have a little something in here for brows, which I'm very excited to check out. Ooh, and, and their makeup wipes. So needless to say, this video is gonna be a hot second, so if you uh, want some coffee, some tea, some food, some snacks, Dorito Cheeto cupcake, whatever you need to make your world go round, and to really just sit down and hang out with me for a little while, now is the time to get it. Pause yourself, get yourself situated. I'm gonna zoom the camera in, and we are gonna get started and I am so excited. Oh my God, let's do this. So we're good and zoomed in and before I get going, does anybody else think that this is just the cutest shirt in the whole world? <laughs> the whole Kodak logo on it. I'm obsessed. Um, I will link it down below for you as long as it's still available. I got it at Penny's for like $9. Wow. I sound like I've ingested so much caffeine today, like way more than normal. I'm so sorry. I promise I haven't. I don't know what's wrong with me. So let's go ahead and get started. And I think I'm going to go in first with this. This is their Magic Beauty Balm. And I picked this up because it was very intriguing. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I can't get in. Hey. I can't get in. I can't get in. This is the Magic Beauty Balm. And the reason that I picked this up is because it, it was kind of different than a lot of the other items on their site. This one is literally just like an all over balm. And it says that you can dab on however much you want anywhere you want. So whether you want it for your lips, maybe you have like a dry patch, maybe you want to like use it to prime, like if you have super dry skin, if you want it for your elbows, if you want it for anything, it is my understanding that you can use this little Magic Balm situation. And here is the cute little acrylic packaging. I actually really like the way that this looks. It has a really nice, sleek, sophisticated, like clean vibe. It feels like the smoothest, smoothest, lightest oil. You can lightly see it gave me like a little glimmer on my hand right there. Oh my gosh, that feels so nice. I'm going to take just a little bit here and kind of put it on my lip. Mmm, okay. You know what? That's actually really nice. I could definitely see this being the type of product that you could just throw in your bag. And if you're like out and about and you notice like, my God, my lips are super dry or whatever, like you could just, this is such an easy product I feel like to use. And it's so, so lightweight. And while we're on the topic, I also picked up two of these um, lip balms. I have one that is tinted and then one that is not. Oh my God, I can't get into anything with these. This is driving me crazy. So I put on these Impress Nails, okay, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. This is the packaging. You've seen me use them a thousand times. Um, this is, and I think I've even mentioned them maybe already in a video this week, but these are in the color tone Rocket. So it has like the cute little tips and then the cute little glitter accents. And I love the nails. Like they're super duper cute, um, but they kind of make it impossible to open like this little tight packaging situation. Guys, I got one free. Okay, let's go ahead and look at this. This is the clear one <laughs> out of all the ones I have opened. I opened the clear one first. So that's good. Okay. It doesn't have like any crazy smell to it, which I like. It has a beautiful sheen. You can kind of see it right there. It's really good. Okay. Let's go ahead and put on a little bit of that. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Okay. Wait a second. Wait just a second, Mrs. Alba. I like this. Good texture and I really like Mm, I really like how smooth it is, but it's not like a, like, a, it doesn't feel like a traditional lip balm. It almost feels like smoother than a lip balm somehow. Ooh, ooh, I, okay. I like that. Now let's go ahead. Oh my God. <laughs> Spectacles, testicles, wallet, and watch. Let's open this other one. <sighs> 
guys, I did it. I did it. So here is the tinted one, which I picked up in the shade Fruit Punch. Let's go ahead and give that a little swatch. Oh, it's a really nice light tint, just a cute little color. I like that. I also just realized we're probably 10 minutes into this video and I have played with two lip balms and a magic balm. <laughs> There's nothing happening yet. So sorry, but also not. Okay, like obviously first impression, but that balm feels so good. Where's my phone? I need to look up prices. I feel like that's a really nice balm. Tinted lip balms are $8.99 and the Magic Beauty Balm was $12.99. So I'm not mad at that at all. That lip balm is so nice. I actually thought it was gonna be more expensive than that. All right, so now let's go ahead and actually start speeding things up. We're gonna get into primers and I have two different options here. This is the Magic Beauty balm stick and this is the everything primer in a glowy version which they do have a matte version but it was out of stock on their website and then I put it in my Ulta cart and I forgot to buy it so we're just gonna work with these today and the first thing we're gonna look at is this magic beauty balm stick it's basically supposed to be like a glowy type situation for like the high points of your face it says you can wear it over makeup oh wow it actually does have a cute little glow it's nothing crazy it's really light is there like can I like make look at me I'm just like swatching my whole arm can I make it bigger but I just really want you to see it's like a nice light little glow kind of gives like that greasy chalupa vibe which I'm very into you guys know so I have the everything glow primer right here this one is in more of like a um, plastic tubey type situation oh, oh oh look at the shine oh my god she's living her best life okay guys that looks beautiful that looks so glowy I think what I'm gonna do is take some of this glow primer here and I'm just gonna throw a little bit of it on my skin. I'm gonna concentrate it more on the outer perimeter of my face and then pull the leftovers like toward the center, just whatever's left over on my hand. And that's just because for those of you that are newer, I do have um, more combo skin and I'm oily through my T-zone. Actually has a little bit of a tack to it and a little bit of a nice shine. I feel like you can lightly see it, but it's not too much. Ooh. Ooh, okay, okay. So I'm gonna take some of this beauty balm stick here and I'm gonna throw this on the high points of my face. Just a little bit like that. And then just for pricing, the glowy stick is $14.99 and the glowing everywhere primer is $21.99. So we're definitely seeing an increase in the price as we move through, but I feel like we're still straddling like a mixture between drugstore pricing and high end, like it's somewhere in between. Because I was actually just thinking about this the other day. I tested out recently the Milani Green Goddess Oil, which I can link the video up here. This right here is Milani, so it's a drugstore brand. And I wanna say this was like 20, 21-ish dollars. And so, for this to be, you know, $21.99, we're definitely at the higher end, but we still are in, you know, a little type drugstore territory, so I just kind of want to keep that into perspective. It's finally time. I get to check out the makeup wipes. I'm so freaking excited. This right here is a 30-pack, so it's the larger one that they offer. Um, it's like a standard, you know, 30-pack size, and this is $6.99, I believe, and then they have a smaller one that has like seven towelettes or 15 or something like that, and that one is $3.99, so if you want to just test it out and see, you know, if you like the formula, you can actually try a smaller package but for me I figured no matter what I will probably use these so from here it's finally time to start talking about foundation and as I mentioned at the beginning of the video I do have two different choices here I have their everything cream foundation for buildable coverage and I have that one in the shade cream and I also have their CC clean corrective with vitamin C tinted moisturizer with SPF 30 and blue light defense oh boy I don't know if that's indicative of the color that is inside but y'all that looks <laughs> that looks a little bit too dark for Paige. Okay, and then let's go ahead here and open up this cream one. Oh, I like this packaging. Oh my gosh, that's super pretty. I like that. Again, I know that it's more just like plain plastic, but I like the look. I feel like it has a sophistication to it. It has a nice little closure. Listen, just like a little boogook. It's just, oh my God, I like this. I like this a lot. Okay, let's go ahead here. I'm going to swatch. What the hell is this voodoo? It's like is it cream to powder? Oh, it's got a poof in the back. Okay, cool. But like, what is this texture? I should be reading. On the back of the package, it says buildable coverage, a velvety finish, and seamless blendability. It's the honest beauty of our Demi Matte Cream Foundation formulated with moisturizing jojoba oil, vitamin E, and pigments that blend smooth and evenly. I don't know if that showed up on camera or not, but uh, I'm going to leave that there. Let's go ahead and look at the CC cream as well. This one is one fluid ounce, and you do get um, a nice little squeezy situation. So it's a squeezy tube with a pump. I like that. Let's go ahead and see what shade this is. Oh my God in heaven. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's just, let's just talk about this. <laughs> All right. This is the shade fair. What? <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Let me just put it in perspective for you. Okay. 
absolutely not my shade, even in the slightest. Um, <laughs> I'm nervous. This does come in four shades, and I know that when you're dealing with, um, like, CC creams and stuff like that, there is a lot of wiggle room for the shade because you're, it doesn't have to be an exact match. Um, and, and yes, this does appear to be the lightest shade. Oh my word. Okay, so I think just for fun, like we have to try this color because I have to see if I can make it work. So I'm going to start with taking just some of this on my fingers here and I'm just going to like blend it onto this cheek and see if maybe I can get it to like meld in with my skin tone a little. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, that color. Oh, that color. Oh my gosh. Stop. Stop right now with this tomfoolery. Okay, so color aside, for, let's just like talk for a second because I can maybe fix the color, but like this feels really nice. It feels ultra hydrating. I now have it all over my hand, <laughs> but it feels really nice on my skin. Like it has a beautiful dew to it, which you can, I think you can see like the nice shine that I'm getting. And I really like that. I love how smooth it goes on. Obviously I can't tell if it's just this product that has, you know, this much glow and dew because I had the other products on my face as well, but I do love love the level of smooth and how that applied. It went on seamlessly and I really like that. I just wish that like, <laughs> I wish that there was like, I don't know, maybe one lighter option um, because this is, this is, this is going to be fun to blend. You know what I just thought of guys? Why don't I apply like this all over my face and then maybe I could use the cream foundation because it's like way closer to my skin tone. It's actually almost a perfect match for me. Maybe I could use that to like maybe help fix the color a little because they don't have um, a concealer. So maybe I could use that and like build up with that one, like fix the color, build up some coverage, that sort of thing. Does that sound crazy? I don't know. I love that I just wiped off this hand and then I went in and I applied the exact same way. Paige, what is wrong with you? <laughs> and then I think I am gonna go in and just play around with this cream foundation a little bit as well. And to do that, I'm actually gonna grab my clean little dose of color sponge here. I'm gonna pick up some of the product and maybe we'll just kind of pounce it like along the jawline and start, you know, covering and, you know, shaping out the face a little. I don't know. Guys, I'm guessing here. I don't have a damn clue what I'm doing. <laughs> but I really just want to try to make these products work a little bit. Okay, so I don't know. I'm just trying to like blend this around and whatever. But I don't know if I like this foundation as much as I liked the CC cream. Just because I feel like the texture of this is a little bit weird. Still really struggling with this neck situation and like trying to blend everything out because it was like so drastically the wrong color. Actually, you know what, hold on. I'm gonna show you guys the compact again because I think you can see the texture better. Again, I'm not sure if you can actually see that or not, but that's my only way of trying to convey is like showing you what I'm talking about. And that's the only issue that I'm having so far with this cream one is that I just, I wish it didn't have that texture because it makes the application a little bit more difficult. But from here, I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little concealer. And for that, I'm just gonna use a tiny amount of my um, hourglass. I'm just lightly tapping in some of this concealer, just a little bit of it in the normal places that I would as well, just to keep everything fair. And I want to make sure that I get those areas set down quicker before we just keep talking through a bunch of other stuff. So I'm going to grab their Invisible Blurring Loose Powder. I have this in the shade Translucent. All right, and then here is the Translucent Powder. It's making me very nervous that it's so yellow, but we'll see. Oh, okay. All right. I like this. I like that it has this little dish up top right here. It's just like a concaved dish. And then it opens up to the net situation so I don't have to get off one of those little plastic things, which are the actual devil. I can't stand them. So this is nice. I'm just going to take, open this up. I'm going to grab a little bit on my sponge here and I'll probably apply it that way. Real quick though, I have to go in and bounce out my under eye. Just make sure we don't have any creases. Oh my God, this is so fine. It's so finely milled that I can barely feel it. That's the, that, that kind of finely milled. Like finer milled than Fenty, finer milled than the JSC powder. It's like the next level. It kind of reminds me of that one, um, what was that powder that they came out with from Urban Decay? Oh, come on. What is that called? Hold on. The Velvetizer. The Urban Decay Velvetizer. That's what I'm thinking of. It has a very similar consistency to that where it's just like so unbelievably refined. Um, and then, oh, really quickly, let's go ahead and talk prices. The Tinted Moisturizer, which is this one. This is $21.99. The Invisible Loose Powder, which I just used to set my under eye, that is $19.99. And the Everything Cream Foundation is also $21.99. So again, we're, we're staying right around in that price range. Also, 
though I don't think my face is liking that powder, I have now ran it all the way through my T-zone and under my eyes, and it's settling in to like every pore, every nook, cranny, and crevasse that I have to offer. Now from here, we're gonna go into the item that I'm probably the most excited about, and that would be the cream blushes. And I was so excited that I bought two different shades, which I just, <laughs> like now that I'm looking at all of this, like Paige, did you really need two shades? No. Do you care? Absolutely not, not even a little bit. I have no desire to care because I love cream blush. I think they are so beautiful. And this is one, if, if memory serves, this is one of the most highly rated things that she has come out with. Oh my God, look at that color. Oh, that's so good. This is the shade Rose Pink. Oh, that's like a mauvey pink. Oh, that's so beautiful, okay. And then this one is peony pink, so it's like a lot more of a true pink versus this one that has more of like a mauvey undertone. Okay, so the consistency on these feels really, really good. Oh my God, this color is gorgeous. They're both really pretty. Okay, so this one right here, this is rose pink, which is this color right here. This one is the peony pink. Oh, they are both so, so beautiful. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do first is go in with the darker shade and lightly take just a little bit of it and start kind of applying it back here on my skin. Just pouncing it in. Oh, this is beautiful. I would rather, like anytime I'm working with a cream product, I would rather have it be more so on like the sheer buildable side because then I can really control the look of it, the texture, and like the overall impact. Oh my God, that. Oh, this texture's good. I feel like this is applying like better than almost any other like cream blush I've tried. It's going on and the consistency of it is so lightweight and the pigment is so lightweight and buildable that it literally just like settles into your skin. Oh my God, that looks beautiful. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna grab the lighter shade right here, take it on a different part of the sponge pick that up and this one I'm gonna pop more so near like the apples and like the, the front part of my cheek I think and then lightly blend it back Ooh, just for like that cute little <laughs> oh wow that's a lot oh okay does it just look intense on camera on camera that side is reading like really intense just so you guys know in real life it looks a little bit more like this side just like brighter and poppier. And you know, I don't really care if it looks a little bit more intense now that I think about it underneath because I'm also gonna like set my face so with a little bit of powder so it'll dull it down a little bit anyways. There we go, maybe if I like lean in a little bit more you can see it. Is that not just the cutest Oh my God, I love that. Now what I'm gonna do, just because I want to give the face products I've tried, I really wanna give them a chance. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of my Too Faced. This is the Born This Way multi-use powder. I have it in the shade Cloud. And I'm gonna use this to lightly set my face just over top of everything because I really feel like that um, that loose powder just doesn't look great on my skin. And again, I'm not against like trying it as a finishing powder if I need it later on, but I want to be as fair as I can to the rest of these products. Now I am gonna go ahead quickly and bronze, and from what I could see on the Honest website, there was no bronzer. So I'm just gonna grab my Marc Jacobs. This is their Tantastic Bronzer. This is a beautiful bronzer. I'm just gonna lightly kind of sculpt out the face just a little bit. I'm not going for like a super, you know, hyper sculpted or crazy eye look today. All right, and then with the bronzer on, I did pick up one of her powder blushes. So we're gonna give this a go next. This is in the shade Frisky and this is their Lit Powder Blush. Oh wow, that's really pretty. Okay, so this is the shade right here. It definitely has like a, like a shimmery type vibe to it, but I felt like it would match really beautifully with these colors. Oh, look at it next to that one. That's really pretty, okay. And then very lightly, just kind of poop, 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 pop it on. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, all right, I like the color. Pop a little bit up on the forehead. All right, so the tone of the blush, especially on camera, is coming off really, really dark. And it doesn't look like that at all in real life. Like it looks darker, you know, than the other shades, but it doesn't look, it doesn't look as deep as it's coming off on camera. I'm not really sure what that's all about. Um, but I think what I'm gonna do just to kind of tone it back a little bit anyways, is I'm actually gonna take some of their loose powder here. I'm using this similar to how I've used hourglass powders in the past. And I'm just gonna buff it over top of that blush just to kind of settle it down a little bit. I'm still getting the luminous and the color from it, but then that powder just like ever so gently kind of buffed it out a little bit, made it look a little bit more wearable. Oh my God, that's super pretty. Now from here, let's go ahead and start getting into brows. And they didn't have a brow gel, but they did have this brow pencil. So obviously I went ahead and I picked it up and it is in the shade taupe. And it looks like on one end, they have just a standard spoolie. And on the other end, they have a sharpenable pencil. All right, so I still need to go in and like clean up underneath of my brows. And I'm gonna add a brow gel here in a second. But I don't think that the brow pencil is necessarily bad. I just don't think that I love it because it you have to sharpen it. 
And for me, as someone that doesn't have a ton of brow hair, it's really difficult to get like the precision that I like to have with my brows when I don't have, you know, like a twist up type pencil. That's totally personal preference. If you're someone that has more of a full brow, you might really enjoy this because I feel like it's easier to use and it's a nice soft kind of consistency, which is good. It's not like super harsh. So I'm just going to grab a little bit here of my Benefit Gimme Brow. This is in the shade 5 and just lightly give myself, you know, a little bit of hair definition. So I think we're gonna call the brows good. I just went ahead and lightly shaped them out. They definitely don't look like twins by any stretch of the imagination, but at least they look like distant cousins, and that is something I can get behind. So let's go ahead and get into eyeshadow, which I did pick up the one palette that they have. It says this is their Get It Together eyeshadow palette. Definitely more on the neutral tone, but I thought it would still be really pretty to test out. All right, so I just went through and I swatched the entire palette palette. Over here is the black, and then up above that there's a cream shade, which you can see on my finger, but it's harder to see on my hand. And then the rest of these are the more neutral toned just eyeshadows. Um, I think as far as the shadow quality themselves goes, I don't think that they feel like the worst eyeshadows I've ever used, but they definitely don't feel like they're the most, you know, creamy, amazing either. I would say that they are sitting somewhere in between. I think in my opinion, they do feel a little bit more on the drugstore, um, especially when I look at like the pigmentation of some of the matte shades, like the black pigmentation isn't that great. It feels a little bit chalky. So the first thing I have to do, obviously, I've got to grab some Hourglass Concealer. Just pop that on my lids for a little primer. I think for today's look, I actually want to stick like right with these two shades, maybe a little bit of this cream shade. I think I'm just going to start off here with a little bit of this purple. Wow, there was a fair amount of kick. Did you guys see that? It just like instantly kind of fluffed everywhere. Again, not necessarily meaning it's a bad shadow, but just something to keep in mind as it is on the messier side. And I'm going to take this on a Morphe Y16, which is just like a blunted fluffy type brush. And I'm just gonna pop that and run it through the crease. Again, nothing too crazy today for an eyeshadow look. I am noticing that at times this eyeshadow does get a little bit on the patchy side um, and I have to go over top of it and kind of blend it out, which it does blend out after, you know, a pass or two, but just something to note that you do have to work with it a little bit. And then from there, I wanna blend out the outer portion of that. And I'm just gonna take this cream color right here. Wow, ton of kick up in that color. And I'm just gonna run that up toward the brow bone and just like I said, blend out that area. Doesn't have to be super crazy or precise or anything. I just wanna make sure that it's nice and blended. And then I was thinking I would wanna take like this light, very, very pale lilac type shade. And I'd love to put that all over the lid, but I like, I'm building it up. This is me building up the swatch three times on my hand. And it has like almost no glitter, no glitz. It has very light, light color. And I, I like, I wanna take that all over the lid, but I'm just, ugh, I'm like a little bit nervous because I feel like what if it just like brings down everything? Then again, it's just a light eye. You know what, screw it, Paige. You're overthinking this like I do everything else. Let's just go ahead and, and just go for it. I'm gonna grab some of my glitter glue per usual here. I'm gonna pop that all over the lid. And then I'm gonna take some of that purpley shimmer type shade. And I'm gonna throw that all over the mobile lid here. Then going back in with that uh, fluffy brush, I'm not adding any product. I just wanna make sure everything is blended. I am a little bit bummed out um, that I couldn't get that, that shimmer to have like any real oomph, even though I went in with glitter glue. And normally glitter glue is like what saves the day for shades like that. But I'm just gonna take some of that mauve purple. I'm gonna blend it on the inner and outer V, just a little bit to kind of blend it in with that shimmer shade. I'm gonna call this good for the eyeshadow look, and I was just, you know, looking up the pricing and stuff, and the palette itself is $19.99, so it's 20 bucks. Um, and personally, I don't think it's something that you need. I don't really love it. And the more, there's something about these shades that just is like hitting me the wrong way, and I don't know if it's like the lack of pigment is like making it look kind of muddy or something. I don't know what it is, but I just don't love, I just don't, I don't love it. Like, I, I think, I don't know. No, it's not flattering. And I thought at first it was just because there's like a shadow on one half of my face. And I thought, well, maybe that's messing with you. So I got up and I looked in a window. I looked over here. And no matter where I go, I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't love it. Again, I don't, I don't hate it. I just don't think it's something that you necessarily need, in my opinion. Now I want to go ahead and move in to the next step, which is going to be spraying our face, which I picked up their Elevated Hydration Mist with Aloe Vera and Hyaluronic Acid for moisture on the go. So it's more of a dewy type spray. And it says on the back here that you can use this AM or PM and just mist all over your face for a quick skin refresh throughout the day. I actually really like this packaging. I like how clean it looks. It looks really nice, has a sophistication vibe to it. Let's go ahead and, oh, okay. 
And you know what? The more that I spray that, it actually does smell like lavender essential oils. Like it smells really nice. Okay, I'm not mad at that at all. It smells fantastic. So the skin does look pretty nice at this moment, but I'm not gonna, you know, rule on the setting spray. I'm gonna mix it with some other things that I have and keep playing. So let's go ahead and put a pin in that and go in with highlight, which this is their luminizing glow powder. And it says that it's in the shade Midnight Reflection. Here is the highlight. I actually love that it comes in this nice compact. It comes with a mirror and it has like that domed look to it, almost like a baked highlighter would. All right, so this is like a very sheer highlight. I've had to build it up a fair amount, but I think you can see it's just a little bit right there. Yeah, the swatch isn't coming through very well, but uh, the color actually looks pretty good for my skin tone. For this, I'm gonna grab, I'm just wiping it off right now. I'm gonna grab my Jelly Pop stipple brush. And I'm just gonna, you know, get it good and coated here because this is a very light toned highlight. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> like, ooh, girl, she is a light highlight. Like, you can barely see it. It's been sitting here and, like, playing and, like, trying to build it up on both sides. And I think that it is nice, but it's definitely for that person that, like, wants a lighter type of highlight, like a no makeup makeup day kind of highlight. Don't get me wrong, I'm not mad at it, actually. It gives a beautiful glow. And if you were looking for that, you know, just, like, all over nice lilt and you don't want that crazy intense highlight, you would really enjoy this. I'm just blending with the uh, blush brush, no additional product or anything, but I'm just blending um, that highlight in a little bit with my cheek just so it, you know everything kind of blends a little bit nicer. I, I oh god, you guys, I struggle so much because I love brow bone and inner eye highlights so, so much. Like, let me just show you. Even if it's just a teeny, teeny, tiny dot of it, this is my ColourPop one. This is ColourPop Horse and Carriage, and this highlight is very, very strong. So if you are, you know, gonna go for this effect, be very mindful. But I'm just gonna take the tiniest amount of it and pop it right in here just a little bit and you can see it just opens up the inner eye just the slightest amount and it gives you you know just that little itty bitty pop i think for me part of the reason that i love having the brighter brow bone and like the slightly brighter inner eye it's just because my eyes themselves are so squatty and so small like they're really small this way they're really small this way and i think that um the highlight just gives them like an added little bit of dimension and then just to show you guys a little bit here so this right here is just the honest highlight and then i'm just gonna top it with the tiniest bit of the ColourPop, and you can already see like how much more intense that sheen is. I actually really, really like the way that that looks. Like just the teeny tiniest amount from ColourPop to top it off, it looks stunning. Um, I am gonna take really quickly something that I didn't do earlier, and I'm just gonna brighten up my under eyes really quickly. Something that I do in pretty much every video. This is my Anna Sue powder. Um, I've been using this a lot since I did my Shop My Stash, which I can link up here. Now, at the beginning of this video, I may have mentioned it, but I purchased all of this off of the Honest website, and I will go through while I'm linking it and uh, kind of make a note. I'll link some stuff from Ulta if they have it, some stuff from Honest, um, just because I know some people prefer Ulta, so that way they can earn Ulta points. I say all of this because this is something exclusive to the Honest website. This is their Cat Eye Kit, and you get 20% off buying them separately, but you actually get the the liquid eyeliner and their mascara, which is a mascara and a primer in one. And here they are separately. This is the mascara. This is the liner. Let's go ahead and take a look. I'm not like a huge liquid liner type person because I feel like all too often it does spider on my eyelids. But let's go ahead. We're just going to take a little swatch. Oh my God, that is really black. Okay. That actually looks beautiful. I'm going to let that sit there for a second and dry down, see what it looks like. I want to see if it, again, like spider cracks or anything. And while I do that, I'm going to change the battery because it's almost dead. Wow. All right, we're good. A fresh battery. I let that dry down and I'm actually pretty impressed because the liner itself dried down. It dried extremely matte. There's no shine to it whatsoever. And it actually didn't like spider crack on me at all. It stayed really nice and in a line. So maybe I will take a little bit of this and just do like a light little line on the upper lash line. You guys know, again, I'm not a huge like liner person like this but I'll give it a try. As far as this goes, it actually applied really nicely. I didn't have any issues with it. It does dry down quickly, so you have to work a little bit faster with it. Personally, like the fact that it dried down a little faster, because then I didn't have to worry about it transferring onto that upper lid right there, but, you know, it's kind of a personal preference thing, but for me, I, I like it so far. I didn't have any issues. Um, I am going to go ahead now and get into mascara, which, as I mentioned, does have a primer on one end, 
and here is the primer. You can see it's just got like that white primer type liquid in it. On the other end here, we have the regular mascara, which is apparently on this side. Why did I think it'd be on this side? I don't know. But uh, this is the brush. It's definitely like that, <laughs> that really short, stubby, spike baseball bat type situation where if you hit yourself in the eyeball with it, you're actually going to wish that you're dead or you were just like fatally wounded in combat. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here. Got to curl up my lashes. This is my e.l.f. lash curler. I'm just going to go ahead and try to get my lash primer coated. Now we're just being extra, extra careful with this big old spiked bat and we're applying the mascara over top of it. I did let the primer dry for just a second. I didn't wait for it to totally dry, but I did, you know, I just, I didn't want it to be like wet, fresh to the, to the mascara type situation. I feel like lash primers work a little bit better when you give them a second. All right, so I've been off of camera now for about 15 minutes. I did my mascara, which obviously we'll talk about, and I did go in with a little bit of black eyeliner. On the upper, I have the Perversion Liner from Urban Decay, and then on the lower waterline, I have the Fenty Bad Bride Liner, just for like that bright little white pop. That being said, let's go ahead and talk really quickly about that mascara formula, because I don't think that it's a bad formula. I do think it's a little bit harder for you to see because I played around with that um, gel like cat eye liner. But the mascara itself, like I said, it's not bad. It is more of a spidery formula. So something to keep in mind. I'm not sure if it's the liner, the combination of the two, just the mascara. I'm not really sure what it is. And again, it's not bad. I think they actually look pretty good. Um, it just, you know, it's, it's a personal preference thing for sure. But I want to really quickly run through a couple of prices. So the cat eye kit is $19.99 where you get the liner and the mascara together. And again, that's just on the Honest website. I'm getting all of these prices from the Honest website. I'm not sure if they're different on Ulta or not. But to buy the liner by itself, it is $9.99. And then the mascara, which is the mascara primer in one, that is $16.99. And I'm not sure if I ever mentioned it or not, but the brow pencil is $9.99. And now from here, I believe we are on to lips. And as I mentioned again at the beginning of the video, um, there were several different options for lips. And I kind of wanted to check out each formula and see how one was different from the next because a couple of them looked pretty similar. So I picked up two of these. One of them is the Lip Crayon in Lush Sheer, and then the other one is the Lip Crayon, and it is a Demi Matte formula. So we're gonna go ahead and swatch those. And then I also picked up this, which is their Liquid Lipstick in BFF. This color just called to me. Look at how stunning that is. Oh my God. So this is the Liquid Lip, again, in BFF. And then this one is the Demi Matte Crayon in the shade Marsala. And holy cow, was that creamy. Like, I know you didn't see, watch this. Do you see how creamy that is? Oh my God, it just like glides out so effortlessly. And then this one right here is Sheer Chestnut, which is why it has like that beautiful luminous type look to it. That's actually really beautiful. I love the color and I love how juicy it looks. That's gorgeous. I think out of these, I would really like to try that liquid lipstick. It has me very intrigued. So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply a little bit of this, which is very odd for me because normally I'm not like drawn to a liquid lipstick. But that color just looks so beautiful. So this right here is the liquid lipstick on and applied. I really, really like this color. Um, I was looking on their website just to, you know, look up the price and stuff. And it says that their liquid lipsticks are $14.99 a piece and that they are a vegan matte liquid lipstick formula with our clean power technology. They have a flexible feel and they have eight high pigment payoff shades. And I have to say, I do 100% agree with everything that that says. They do have more of a matte consistency. You know, they do dry down a little bit, but they are very, very flexible. It's not uncomfortable at all. And you guys know how I am when it comes to liquid lips. Like I'm super duper sensitive and this feels just fine. Like it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel tight. It does feel a little like a slight amount of like tacky or like sticky feeling, but I have a feeling it just needs to like dry down the rest of the way and that feels like it's gonna leave as well. I had a thought and I don't know if it's good or not. <laughs> you know, we're gonna find out together. Um, I thought it would be kind of cool to take the, where is it here? This is the sheer chestnut and maybe pop just like a little bit of this, like right in the center, just for like, a little lilt of hydration, like the look of it on the lips. So that was a beautiful idea. It looks absolutely stunning on top because it has like the the pigment and the power from the liquid lipstick underneath, but then this has like that juicy look to it. 
Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, you guys, that concludes the full face of Honest Beauty. This is how everything turned out. Obviously, we're going to go ahead, put up the up close, and we're going to talk through it for a second. So let's go ahead and start off with skin because I definitely think that's like the one area that I did have to try a lot of different things to, to try to make it, you know, look a little bit nicer. And unfortunately, you know, even right now as I sit here, it still isn't my favorite just because of the texture and the way that things are kind of sitting. But I do think on camera it looks really nice. So that's at least you know a silver lining um, I just feel like for some reason it's not looking quite as settled as I would like and it could be one of those items that you know Maybe it settles out over time But for me for right now, it's just I feel like the complexion aspect is like the one thing that I'm not obsessed with that being said I feel like both of the foundations and the powder are probably not the type of product that I would gravitate towards They just don't really settle that well for my skin type and I kind of got to thinking about it while I was applying and like, you know, going through the rest of my face, I feel like with like the tone of that CC cream being so far off from my own skin tone, I got to thinking like, okay, you know, I could make it work. Maybe I could mix it here and like add this. I feel like for me, that kind of defeats the purpose of a CC cream. Like for me, if I'm reaching for one, it's because I not only want it to like even things out, but I want it to be a quicker, easier, faster application. And because of how far this shade is off from like my natural skin tone, I would have to do a lot of work to try to make this, you know, match my skin tone. Like even today it took several products and it's still not an exact match. And I just feel like if I'm going to reach for a CC cream or something light like this, I'm going to go for a brand that has an option that's a little closer to my own. And while we're on the topic, this is the one I have sitting in front of me. This is from ColourPop and this is their Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. I have this one in the shade Light 5N and it works really, really well for me. But color aside, I feel like of the two different foundation options or different, you know, complexion options, I do like this one a little bit better because as I I've mentioned a hundred times. I'm not a big fan of the texture that's in the compact, like that cream version. So for me, this would have to be a no just because of the color. But as far as like the texture, the settling in, all of that, it actually didn't look too bad. Um, again, it's just for me, the tone is like way too off. And that being said, I don't really feel like I would reach for this powder again either. It just doesn't work for me. It really settles in. It doesn't like set my face aggressively enough. And I feel like it's the type of powder that would work really well for you if maybe you don't have super bad pores or intense crevasses like I I do like girl my face has ravines okay it's seen some shit and that powder just isn't like aggressive enough for me I just need something with a little bit more ass behind it which I've said on several occasions about powder so for me those three products are probably the ones that I like the least like I like the primer I'm a big fan of like the dewy balm stick the all over balm I'm very intrigued by the tinted moisturizers all the lip products I think are really really nice I think my favorite out of everything it'd be a toss-up between the lips and this cream blush because I love the cream blush formula it feels really really, really nice. But overall, you guys, as a first impression with a brand I'd never played with before, I'm pretty happy with how things, you know, went, how they worked out. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys down below. What do you think? Is there anything from Honest that you already love, that you'd like to try, that you've tried, maybe you don't like? Leave me all of your thoughts and opinions down below. I'd also like to hear from you guys down below. Is there another brand that you would like me to take a look at? Maybe it's a brand that I've never played with, one I haven't played with a ton. Because uh, if that's the case, please leave it down below. I'm really into like this one brand testing, experimenting type deal. Of course, if you haven't check me out yet Instagram and on Twitter those will both be linked down in the description and as I mentioned before I will go through and link all of these products down in the description box I will link whatever is available at Ulta at Ulta as well just so you guys if you want to shop and earn points or use points you can do that of course if you haven't subscribed yet please be sure to do that before you leave I do put up three new videos a week Monday Wednesday Friday and they go up right around 7 a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan and you guys I think that that's everything thank you all so so much for watching please don't forget to have a great day night weekend whatever it is when you're watching this and I'll see in the next one. Bye. I have been wanting to try this brand for so long. Shh. I'm very busy. It's very important. Um, everybody. Okay. Oh, well, look at that. Oh, oh, the gods have me in their favor. Oh, the cops are coming. The cops are coming for you. Don't worry. I live out in the country, so it's probably uh, one of like three things like, you know, a hillbilly that's, you know, driving 85 down a back road, a rogue cow, or a runaway tractor that they just can't seem to get control of. I mean, there's really only so many choices, people. I swear to the good lard, lard, I swear to the good lard, <laughs> the good lardy McLarder son. <laughs> lard, I swear to the good God of Crisco.